WEAR News at 5 starts now. Two mothers hope a $10 million uh, legal settlement will improve safety at the apartments where their sons were killed. WEAR, Shade Ray joining us in the studio now. And Shade, these families have a message for the owners of those Pensacola complexes. Yes, Bob, these families want the owners to make changes to protect other families. No money, no nothing can bring him back. I really miss my son. Shane Dale Mason's 19-year-old son, Katerion Rivers, was shot and killed at Oakwood Terrence Apartments in June 2020. Six months later, 16-year-old Jeffrey Kennel was shot and killed at the Forest Creek Apartments. Both complexes are owned by the Markey Group. The teen's families filed a lawsuit against the company. They were each awarded $5 million. Mason has been raising River's daughter since he passed. When red birds fly, when they come on my porch, I tell my grandkids and my kids, that's no, no. They go, your daddy, queen. And that's what they know. When they see a red bird, they know that that's my boy. They don't know that that's Frozone, Quantarian, and Joshon Rivers. That's my baby. Now they're asking for increased security at the apartments. They need a security expert to be running this. You cannot have people that have are in charge of tremendous residential communities like this, that are in charge of security at places that are absolutely riddled with crime, where the apartment conditions are dilapidated and disgraceful. Activist Laura Merritt says security isn't the only issue for the complexes. Merritt tells me Forest Creek Apartments has issues with severe flooding. She says there are other issues with pavement and maintenance. Just continue to see this happen year after year after year. The flooding, the violence, the shooting, the killing. When is it going to stop? I reached out to the market group for comment. I have not heard back. Live in the studio, Shade Ray, WEAR News.